Why do we have a natural inclination to be envious or jealous when someone else is successful? St. Thomas Aquinas, one of the most learned saints in the church, gives this definition of envy. Envy is an irrational anger of the success of others. An American novelist, Gore Vidal, has a great characterization of envy. He said, when a friend of mine succeeds, something in me dies. By human nature, we compare ourselves to others. We're social creatures, and social creatures create a pecking order. So we tend to rank ourselves against others' achievements because our brain is wired to figure out where we fit into the scheme of things. In Dante Alighieri's Divine Comedy, the envious are depicted in purgatory as souls who are deprived of sight and huddled together like blind beggars. Dante describes them as having their eyes sewn shut with iron wire and having tears squeezed out of their closed eyes. The idea is because they spent their lives looking at other people and how they are all doing comparing themselves to others. So, in purgatory, their eyelids are sewn shut symbolizing the price they pay for a life spent constantly comparing themselves to others and feeling disappointed by other people's success. Envy is the opposite of love, as St. Thomas defines love as willing the good of the others as the other. Envy goes against the very essence of love. It has the potential to destroy relationships. So how to battle or protect ourselves from envy, from this vicious cycle of sin? Father Mike Schmitz offers helpful guidance on overcoming envy. Father Mike advised anyone who finds themselves feeling envious to take a moment to reflect, count their blessings, and express gratitude for what they have. Catholic Encyclopedia says envy is sorrow, which one entertains in another well-being because of a view that one's own excellence is in consequence lessened. The idea that someone else has something means I have to have less. Like the story of King Saul, we know that he is anointed by God, chosen by God. He was going to live his kingship at the end of his life. As David even said, I'm not going to strike down the Lord's anointed. Yet Saul couldn't see David's ascendancy. David's blessings didn't take anything from him. The people around you, their gifts, their skills, abilities, the extent or degree to which they are loved, doesn't take away your gifts, your skills, or the degree to which you are loved. If you find yourself envious, pause and practice gratitude and count your blessings. Don't waste your time focusing on other people's journey. Instead, focus on yours and be best at it.